Hi everyone, it's Kara. It's time for our Monday meal. And I got it, of course, off of All Recipes Dinner Spinner app. This is an Indian chicken curry with Roman numeral two after it. Indian chicken curry two. So I've already done my curry paste here and I did it based on one of the reviews um, for this recipe on the app. So let me tell you what I did because I'll link the original recipe below, but that's not what I did. So I started out with a dry pan that was heated to medium heat and I put in two, the three tablespoons of curry powder because that's how much it calls for. So three tablespoons until it got brown for about a minute, until it got brown and fragrant. Then I added in a teaspoon of paprika, a teaspoon of cinnamon, and then half of a teaspoon of ground ginger root. And then stirred that together and let it heat up. Then I added a teaspoon of minced garlic, which equals two cloves and then a bay leaf. And then over the top of that, I drizzled two tablespoons of olive oil. It calls for three, but he says only use two and drizzle it, drizzle it over the top of the end. Then add the onions, which I did, it's one onion, and some salt. So I used some sea salt. And that's just to taste, so there's no measurement on the sea salt. So this is our paste. Now we're gonna to add to it what the recipe says. But before we do that, let me show you, I've got some rice cooking here in my rice cooker, some brown rice. Um, I use chicken broth for my um, liquid in the rice cooker. And I did the same seasonings that we have over here, just half of it. So like a tablespoon and a half of curry powder, half a teaspoon paprika and cinnamon, a fourth of a teaspoon of ginger, um, half of a teaspoon of garlic, minced garlic, uh, half of a bay leaf. I didn't use any olive oil and then I sprinkled some salt on there. So that is the seasoning that's in here. So it's going to be the same uh, flavor profile as what's going on in here. So ready to move on? Okay, so we've added the two chicken breasts chopped up. Um, they were pre-cooked. To this we've added a tablespoon of tomato paste organic tomato paste and then we added a cup of plain yogurt which we're using the so delicious coconut milk dairy free yogurt alternative plain and then a three-fourths of a cup of coconut milk so we're also using so delicious dairy free coconut milk and so you're supposed to stir that together bring it to a boil which it is now then reduce heat to a simmer and simmer for 20 to 25 minutes so that's what we're going to do now and then i'll come back Okay, so we've simmered for 20 minutes, and then it says to add a half of a juice of a lemon. And I'm allergic to citrus, so I can't have that. So I added a couple of tablespoons of apple cider vinegar for my acid. And then it says half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, or, you know, what you want, as spicy as you want it. So I did half of that, like a fourth of a teaspoon, because it's already, I've tasted it. It's got a decent amount of kick to it, so I didn't want to add too much. So I added those things, stirred it up. Now it's gonna simmer for five more minutes and then it's done. All right, that's it. It's simmered for five minutes and it's ready to go and it tastes really good. Oh, I forgot to tell you that before we put in the acid and the, um, like the apple cider vinegar and the um, cayenne pepper, I had to take out the bay leaf. So I took that out, then added those things, stirred it and simmered it for five more minutes. So it's good to go. And then our rice is almost done in our rice cooker. And that's what I'm gonna serve it with. So that's the Monday meal today, enjoy.